So, um, I see that uh, Kim Richards was in the news recently because she shoplifted. And somebody asked me if I was going to make a video about that. And I'm not going to. Because I have something more exclusive to discuss. This is involving Dina Manzo from Real Housewives of New Jersey. In fact, um, I'm going to post this video right on her wall. Maybe she'll respond to it. So uh, this, this is for you, Dina. I'm going to speak directly to you, Dean. Um, Dean, why don't you tell everyone what you did, Dean? <laughs> why don't you tell everyone what you did? Because I know someone who knows someone who knows someone. And it knows all about the situation that's not, not quite public knowledge. Um, Dean, why don't you tell everyone how you were at a cancer event and like a benefit for people with cancer. Why don't you tell them how you met this millionaire, married millionaire, who owns one of the most successful Hyundai dealerships in the country. He's one of like the richest men in New Jersey. Why don't you tell them what you did, Dean? Why don't you tell your fans about how you met this married man and then you spread open your labial walls for this married man and he put his married penis in you and then he left his wife for you, Dean, and now he visits you. Apparently you have like a summer home in California and he's been visiting you on weekends. And he has two beautiful children, a boy and a girl. And he even brought those children to meet you. Um, and because my friend who told me this doesn't even know who you are and she doesn't watch Real Housewives. And she was, I was like, is this really true? And she was like, yeah, his kids met Dean and apparently they were confused because she has a two-legged dog. I was like, yeah, she does have a two-legged dog. Dean, now you're bringing your two-legged dog into this mess. You're bringing this affair around your two-legged dog who has, like, wheels instead of legs. Now this dog is wheeling around this affair because <laughs> you've been having a scandalous affair with this married man and he left his wife for you. What do you have to say for yourself, Dean? What do you have to say? Now, I think you need to go to Rite Aid. I think you need to buy some mass and go. I think you need to clean out your unclean vagina because it's, it's filled with sin. Your vagina is filled with sin. It's filled with married sperm. You need to rinse it out. You need to go to church. You need to pray for forgiveness because Jesus doesn't like women who get involved with married men. I saw the pictures, Dean. I saw the pictures of the man that you are having an affair with and I saw the pictures of his wife who is now a scorned wife and his children. I was going to send you a slideshow of like in the background of my video like of the smiling family but I don't have time for all that. But you know what you did Dean, you broke up a family. What do you have to say for yourself? You, you cheating bitch. You bitch. What does your sister Carolyn Manzo have to say about this affair? Does she know about it? Actually, I thought this was like super exclusive. I was like, oh, I'm going to extort that Dina Manzo. My original plan was I was going to um, threaten to go to the press and I was going to have you send me like thousands upon thousands of dollars in unmarked bills in a manila envelope. But then I did some Googling and I saw that People Magazine, or I think it was Star Magazine, one of them, they already reported about this scandalous affair back in May. So it's not that exclusive. So, now I can't extort you. But I can still publicly shame you, Dean Dean. I'm going to publicly shame you until you apologize and clean out... The, Dean, clean out that vagina after you apologize. Clean the vagina of the sin. You got to clean it. You got to rinse it out. You got to get baby wipes and put it up there. You got to rinse the sin <laughs> out of that vulva.